Hey, what is up guys? I do my help here. Welcome back to the channel and it is finally possible to lock your apps with Face ID or Touch ID. Now, Apple makes this API available for developers so they can integrate Face ID or Touch ID on their apps. Now, I'm sure you've seen banking applications that require you to unlock with Face ID or Touch ID, but Apple has some of their own apps where you can't lock them individually with Face ID or Touch ID. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Apple has updated the software and it is finally possible to lock apps like photos, messages, emails, in case you ever leave your iPhone laying around un unlocked and you want that second layer of protection, that second peace of mind. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock any app on your iPhone using Face ID and or Touch ID. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, this video is going to be an update for a video that I filmed about a year ago, but Apple, as I mentioned, has updated iOS to improve this method or this workaround that actually implements this method relatively well. It almost seems like an actual feature for iOS and I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So let me go ahead and show you how you can lock any app. So go into the clocks application here and then you wanna head on over into the timer section right below there. When timer ends, you wanna select that and then you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom and you wanna select stop playing. Once you do that, go ahead and set that, there we go. And then all you have to do is head on over to the shortcuts application. Now, if you don't have the shortcuts application, I'll link it in the description. The shortcuts app is a free app by Apple in case you didn't know. Once you launch it, you want to go into automations and under automations, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create an automation, click on create personal automation, and then you want to scroll down until you find the categories for apps, right? There it is. And then here you want to make sure that is opened is selected, okay? And then you want to click into the app section and then select the app that you would like to lock with Face ID and or Touch ID. So you're going to scroll here and then let's go ahead and say, for example, messages you want to lock and then you want to go ahead and click done. Now you only have to set this up once and you can set up as many of these applications as you wish. Go ahead and click next. Now we're going to go ahead and add the action here and we're going to go ahead and search for set a timer. So we're going to go ahead and set that and click on this particular option here. Right here where it says minutes, you want to change that into seconds. So seconds right there it is. And then right here where it says 30, you want to set that to one second. So let's go ahead and do that. Click next. And right here is where some of the major changes have happened with iOS 15.4. Now, if you select here, ask before running, if you turn that off, you can go ahead and turn that off. Now we have a new option that you no longer have those notifications that kind of pile up before when you used to do this. So now you can actually turn off notify when these automations are running. So now it just seems seamless. You don't get a notification. It just simply locks the app. It doesn't look like a workaround. This actually makes it look like it's actual feature for iOS. So we locked the messages here. Now when I launch messages, you see that boom, it will lock the messages app within one second. I mean, no one can really do much with one second accessing an app. It locks your iPhone. It locks the application. I'm gonna go ahead and scan my face with face ID. We unlock the iPhone and now we're back into messages. So let's go ahead and launch it, locks the messages app within a split second there, and then to unlock it, face ID, and boom, now we're in messages. Let me know what you think about this method. This actually looks legit. It doesn't give you any notification. Apple has updated the software enough so they can now use this method and it works flawlessly. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this quick iPhone hack, if you will. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.